Last time we were here, this house was dull, it was boring, and it was dated. And now it's been completely transformed. Hey guys, I'm Greg Dewar, and after seven weeks of renovation, this home is finally complete. And now I wanna take you through room by room and show you exactly what we did so that hopefully you can learn something from it. Starting with the foyer. New tile floors at the entryway. We've also updated the trim, the lighting. One of the major pain points of painting 16 foot ceilings is it does a number on your neck. All right, so bedroom number one here. Obviously this is not the most exciting part of the house, but it has been completely transformed. New flooring all throughout, new doors and handles, and of course, light fixtures. Commonly forgotten about by a lot of people while they're getting ready to do a renovation is you wanna make sure your light fixtures do match up with the rest of the renovation. So out of bedroom number one and checking out the first of three bathrooms here, we did completely gut this bathroom. We were able to keep the tub, which is a bonus. That's never happened on any renovation I've done before. New tile flooring, new vanity, paint, new lighting, bathroom done. Okay, so now we're in the laundry room here, which does also serve as an entrance from the garage. I am currently standing right where there was a wall previously. So what we did is we took out that wall to open up this space a little bit more. And again, lighting to match the rest of the home. All right, guys, so now it's on to the kitchen. This is one of the most major transformations of the home. Important always to remember that the kitchen is gonna be one of the main focuses of every buyer after your renovation. And if you like this kitchen, then you should definitely like this video, subscribe to our channel, so you can see more great renovations on how to improve your home as well. So kitchen wise, we did have to change the layout. We moved the fridge because it was right beside the stove. There was about six inches of counter space between the stove and the fridge, which I absolutely hate. I have a total pet peeve about having the fridge right beside the stove. So ultimately what we did is we moved the fridge over to the other end of the kitchen. Obviously we've got full built-ins all around the fridge, makes the kitchen look a lot better. Once we finished with the layout options, we did jump to the island. So the island of course, gives you a massive amount of working space in any kitchen and in a small kitchen it's even more valuable. You've got a couple spots for stools there so that people can be gathering together, ultimately making the kitchen a lot more functional as well. So one of our main objectives with the kitchen renovation was to make it feel more elevated, more custom and deliver value. So we did that through quartz countertops which is a must have for any kitchen renovation these days. Uh, we did it with a nice, subtle, but beautiful herringbone backsplash. We also added crown molding and this pot filler. Pot fillers are a bit of a new thing in kitchens right now, but I think it adds a lot of value and does provide an additional feature that a lot of homes in this price bracket won't be offering to other home buyers. One of the best parts of this home was that pre-renovation, it already had these 16 foot vaulted ceilings. And we wanted to highlight that in two different ways. One was this floor to ceiling shiplap fireplace. Makes the room feel nice and cozy and really creates a feature for people to get excited about. The other thing was this chandelier. It is not just a light fixture, it is a statement piece and it will give people something to talk about and make them more excited about the home. In the rest of the living room, we continued with the new flooring new trim and a full paint job to keep the consistency throughout the main floor. We're here in the master bedroom. Bedrooms always are a pretty simple improvement to make. Here we do have new floors, doors, and trim. Of course, you've painted it, new light fixture, everything is matching all throughout, but the main attraction for this master bedroom is the ensuite. If you saw this bathroom before I'm standing in it right now, then you know that this is a huge transformation. There used to be a solid wall right behind me, a very small vanity with a toilet. So we demolitioned the whole thing and rebuilt it from scratch. It's a huge shower. So we put in these small knee walls and have glass above so that when you're in the bathroom, it feels much larger, much brighter, and ultimately looks a lot nicer. 
If you've watched any of the episodes of my series, Moving On Up, then you might have seen the episode on boosting the value of your home through renovation. One of the major tips that I give in that episode is keeping consistency in your renovation. And that's exactly what we aim to do with this basement. So we kept the same flooring all throughout, same paint color, same trim, same doors. We even did a very similar fireplace over here as what we have in the living room upstairs. We wanted to provide a seamless experience throughout the whole home. And that is why in this third and final bathroom here, again, we have very similar finishes to the other bathrooms in the home and felt that a third full bathroom would provide a ton of value to any home buyer that's looking at this property. So prior to the renovation, this was just empty basement. There was no bathroom here yet. So all of the work had to be done. We brought in plumbers, we did the framing, new fixtures and finishes. Everything in here is completely brand new. So the last piece of this light and bright basement renovation was creating this flex space. This can act as a spare bedroom, a hobby room, or a home office for whoever the future buyer will be. So now let's talk about our biggest problem with this project, this staircase. Now we did bring in a contractor to completely redo the stairs and railing, and he did do an excellent job. But the biggest problem was that all of the wood was stained the wrong color. This obviously created a problem with maintaining that consistency throughout the project. So from there, we had to determine what our next step was going to be. And sometimes if you want something done right, you do have to do it yourself. So again, we started sanding all of the wood down, cleaning everything off and picked a new stain to finish the wood. So ultimately it looks excellent, but I said that this was a seven week renovation and this staircase ended up taking three and a half weeks to complete. That was our biggest pain point. Thanks for watching. I'm Greg Dewar, broker and owner at Dewar Realty. And if you wanna see more great renovation videos, including the before walkthrough of this home, check out more episodes here. And if you want insider tips on selling your home, check out my series, Moving On Up, right here. And don't forget to like and subscribe.